Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Shasha SJ. Thank you so much for coming by again today. I am so happy that you are here and staying with me. Today we are going to make something like this. Alright, so we are going to make something like this and I hope you are going to enjoy it. Anyway, if you are new to my channel, I am Shasha SJ. I'm a mom. I usually flip items from the Dollar Tree items. Goodwill, Walmart, or anything that can be recycled. Anyway, let's get into this and let's go! Hello! So with this particular project that we are going to make, we are going to need this one. I got this from the Dollar Tree. If you can see it, go grab it. It's so much fun to play on this one paintbrush, a magazine. This is just for protecting your mat when you're painting. You can grab this at the Dollar Tree as well. I actually got this from Walmart which is 50 cents. And this one is from the Dollar Tree. I got this from the Dollar Tree. Mud Podge. You can grab a Mod Podge as well at Dollar Tree. They have the little tiny jar like this kind of size. So you can grab that. A jute. You can also grab a jute at the Dollar Tree. And of course, a poster stickers. And I got this by the school supply area at the Dollar Tree. So that's where I got it. And some, as you can see, are, I already used it. So yeah, let's play around and let's get started and let's go. Okay, right now what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to get to see this foam dice. Right now is, I, I'm kind of like afraid to paint this one right away with white. So I like to cover it up with black first so I'm going to paint it with black all right so if you can find a chalk paint that's perfect but for now we're going to use almost everything from the Dollar Tree what I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to cover the half and half first so then when I set it down it's not going to be peeling off or touching the paint somewhere on my surface area. So that's what I'm trying to do is painting them half and half. All right, so we are just going to wait until this one is going to dry and then we are going to repaint it again on the other side with same color with the black and then we'll see from there, okay? Alright, so if you were like me and very impatient, you can always get something like this. It is a um, heat something from Martha Stewart. If you want to have this one, go check in the description down below. And if you don't have any of this, you can also use your hair dryer. And I'm very impatient, guys, especially in crafting that I want to get it done. So, right now I'm just blowing it. It's hot, so be very, very careful. All right, so now we can repaint this again with a second coat of this. All right, so next we are going to paint this over with a white 
paint. I don't want the color of a styrofoam-ish red and blue one, so I tried to cover that up with black. So then you can barely even see the red one in there. Alright you guys, it's almost looking like a marshmallow now. I just coated this one for second time round. So I just painted this one twice already in this area. So then we are going to do the other halfway. Alright, so just stay tuned and if you like this video guys hit that like button below and that would be very very awesome all right so as you can see guys right now i'm trying to heat them up and as you can see there is a beautiful artwork comes in, coming out here Alright, so as you can see closer, it creates a crackle effect and that's the one I like. That's why I want the black one before the white painted one. So it's super awesome how that crackle effect. And look at that crackle effect guys, isn't that beautiful? It's, a, it's an art, right? I'm going to do the rest. Okay, lesson learned. When you are going to put a Mod Podge on it and it's still wet and then you know as usual the old fashioned one is you paint it and then you put a Mod Podge and then you heat them. Don't do it with this kind of paint because it will just bubble up, okay? I learned that from a lesson so don't do what I did so that's why I'm sharing it to you right now so you don't do a same mistake what I did all right so those ones are done and I'm going to cover this one up with a Mod Podge right now okay and then yes you are not going to heat this up with a heat dryer because it's just going to create a bubble. So you really have to be patient at this time, okay? All right, so I figured out that instead of using a jute, I am just going to use this burlap down here, which is, I got this one also from the Dollar Tree. And I'm not going to use this jute, but we'll see, all right? So, like right now, what I'm trying to do is I'm going to make this one glued together just like so, like that. So they are, they're a little bit sticky right now and not even purely, and not even purely dry. So whatever is scuffed out in there, I'm going to glue this one together because it's not gonna be showing anyways. So, I am using a fabric tack. So then, after that, I am going to put a burlap around it. Next, we are going to, of course, put a bow in it, but let's start working in here in this area. I am going to, I got this one from the Dollar Tree, and 
usually you can always stick them out like so but i want my item to be forever so i double it up with a glue liquid glue So there you go, L-O-V-E, and I'm going to make a bow in this one. All right, so there is our awesome project that we just made. I love for the bird in there. XOXO, and I'm going to show you the closer look, all right? So what do you think about that? That was super fast and easy, isn't it? Anyway, I enjoyed it and I really, really love it. And the outcome was super cute and I hope it was cute for you too. And I'm sure you can make better than mine. So yes, thank you so much for staying with me. You guys are awesome. And thank you, thank you, thank you for staying with me.